what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so you guys have been blowing me up on instagram on twitter on youtube letting me know cesaro has left wwe uh i wish i could have recorded this video and talked uh talked about it earlier in the day but i have literally been i haven't been at home all day so this is my first time being able to actually sit down and record this video for you i actually had another video already lined up but i'll probably go ahead and drop that for you uh for you guys tomorrow but we got to talk about this cesaro leaving man uh am i surprised no not really and the reason being is because they don't utilize cesaro uh, uh cesaro in my opinion has been wasted his potential has been highly wasted he is fantastic in the ring he's not the best on the microphone i will say that but his in-ring work it, it deserves somewhat of a, a main event push in my opinion it, it always has we you know a lot of us uh hardcore wrestling fans have wanted cesaro to get his opportunity and become potentially a world champion so was i surprised when the news came out no they're not really using him and Hopefully, he can go somewhere where it benefits him better. So, we're going to check this out by WrestleMania. Hey, guys, what is going this. on? This is WrestleMania back with another episode. Big news in WWE as SmackDown superstars. This is not the the, the usual uh, narrator. It's somebody different, man. Cesaro has opted to exit the WWE following the expiration of his contract. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at Cesaro's WWE departure, the reasons behind it, the effect on the WWE, and what's next for the Swiss Superman. Cesaro's contract expires. Cesaro's WWE departure has caught many fans and wrestling pundits off guard as the talented big man has spent over a decade in the WWE and signed a new deal in 2021. However, there's more to the story than you might think, including the circumstances and reasons behind his exit. Please don't say budget PW cuts. Insider broke the news. Well, not budget cuts because his contract ended, so maybe they probably couldn't come to an agreement. But you know, WWE be quick to hit, you know, hit people with the budget cut thing, but his contract actually just expired this time. With Mike Johnson reporting, WWE star Cesaro has quietly exited WWE after his current contract expired, PWInsider.com has confirmed. He last performed for WWE on February 11, losing to Happy Corbin on an episode of Friday Night SmackDown. We are told the two sides had been in negotiations, but had not come to terms on a new agreement. One source noted that WWE did offer Cesaro an extension on his current deal, but that was turned down. Dave Meltzer has confirmed the story and Fightful Select had news on the backstage reaction in WWE. The immediate reaction from those within the company was disappointment and dismay as mm -hmm. Cesaro had been one of the most universally liked talent on the roster. We are told that this was not a case of WWE not wanting him there. In fact, he was offered a new contract in which WWE sources claim was rejected. Mm. You may recall Cesaro signed a new contract in 2021 and was given a brief push that included a Universal Championship match against Roman Reigns. And I wish this feud was longer. I wish they had at least one more maybe two more matches out of their feud i enjoyed it i know people was like oh i mean we knew cesaro wasn't gonna win and obviously you know they're still building up roman but at the same time that one and done i think they should at least had another match or two more matches that ah, uh, it was just good to see him in the main event in a prominent fashion i i, I enjoyed it me personally at wrestlemania backlash followed by a feud with seth rollins Following the Rollins feud, Cesaro drifted back down to the mid-card. Yep. As we'll see, Cesaro's rise and fall are a pattern seen throughout his WWE career and one that may have played a pivotal role in his decision to leave. A Utility Player Cesaro, aka Claudio Castagnoli, entered the WWE in 2011 after a standout career in promotions such as Ring of Honor, Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, Pro Wrestling Noah, and Combat Zone Wrestling. Cesaro earned a reputation in these promotions as a wrestler who could work complex technical matches while also utilizing incredible power moves such as his Cesaro swing and spinning backbreaker rack. 
The six foot five wrestling technician seemed like a good fit for the WWE when he debuted on the main roster in 2012, including a run with the United States Championship early in his career that lasted an impressive 239 days. Damn, However, man. by 2013, Cesaro's singles push stalled with the big man competing largely in tag team matches and occasional singles matches. While he enjoyed five tag team championships with Sheamus during their time together as The Bar. They were a solid tag team, I ain't gonna lie to you. The Bar was a solid tag team. Can't even, Not to mention one each with Shinsuke Nakamura and Tyson Kidd, spots in the main event eluded Cesaro for much of his career. Cesaro's incredible ring abilities and strong work ethic led to fans and wrestlers alike lobbying for him to be pushed into the main event. Yep. Mick Foley was one of Cesaro's biggest supporters, but like Sisyphus, Cesaro would climb to the top only to be knocked down before he reached the summit. Unfortunately. Despite his many talents, Vince McMahon seems to have seen Cesaro as a utility player, a wrestler who can work with any opponent and make them look good, but as a wrestler who doesn't have the it factor that distinguishes a good wrestler from a great wrestler. Occasionally, Mr. McMahon would push Cesaro into the upper card or main event, but it was always to make someone else look good, yep. and there has never been any evidence after 2013 that McMahon had any intention of giving Cesaro a sustained push at the top. WrestleMania knows better than to try to unravel the madness that is Mr. McMahon's wrestling mind, but one reason McMahon never saw Cesaro as a true main eventer was a perception that the Swiss cyborg lacked charisma and or microphone skills. Mm -hmm. And that's... Uh, that's that's always been Cesaro's weakness. And that's why I thought when he aligned himself with Paul Heyman, that would help. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't really need to be, I guess, the the talking force. You need someone to talk for him, and he just delivers on the matches. And it, it just never went anywhere. That's that's the one thing I can say that has hindered Cesaro. His, his uh, I guess you could say his... His speech, how he presents himself, like in promo fashion. But at the same time, dude is fantastic in the ring. He's arguably one of the best wrestlers in that company. One of the best wrestlers in the world. So it's like, there, you got to find some way. If he doesn't, he's not good at talking. Find someone that can help him. Or you can go with the gimmick of he's the silent type. He don't say much. He just goes out there and kicks ass. There's, there's ways around it. I just don't think Vince was too invested once he realized he didn't have that charisma he was looking for. It was like, well, he's great in the ring, so I'll keep him because he's good. But, you know, I know the fans want want him at the top, but nah, he just, he's not really a good talker. So, I don't know, man. That just It just sucks. Paul Davis of Wrestling News reminded fans of past comments and reports by Vince McMahon about Cesaro, including... When McMahon appeared on Stone Cold's Broken Skull Sessions in 2015, he stated that he did not see Cesaro as a big draw. Uh -huh. Dave Meltzer also reported a few years back that McMahon felt that Cesaro was boring. Well, Cesaro has much to offer in the ring. Some critics besides McMahon have pointed to his mic skills and charisma as detrimental to his overall marketability as a main eventer. On one hand, the case can be made that the WWE never gave Cesaro a time to improve on the stick or to cultivate any charisma that he may have, much like Brock Lesnar, who seemed devoid of charisma until his recent return at 20. This is and this is another another situation. Brock didn't really talk like that. He barely said anything, much of anything. We're talking about his first WWE run. You know, when he came back again after UFC, like he barely talked, bro. He bet it was always Paul. Paul was his voice. Sometimes he would say stuff, but he would barely talk. Now, this Brock is full of charisma. He's just out there having a good time, which is cool to see. And this is one of those things I think they they definitely did give up on him in that department. And I really do think they should have did something substantial with him aligning himself with Paul Heyman. And actually go with it. Just give it a shot. Roll with it for a little bit. 21 SummerSlam and adoption of a fun-loving, albeit skull-crushing, sweater-wearing cowboy. Ironically, Cesaro's age didn't seem to be a factor with his push or over any decision to keep him around. While WWE has been focusing on big and young wrestlers as seen by its dramatic reconstruction of NXT into NXT 2.0, Cesaro doesn't look his age, 41, and he his doesn't. size is exactly what Vince McMahon likes in his performers. Still, there is no denying McMahon didn't see Cesaro as a top act. 
While McMahon didn't seem to see Cesaro as a main eventer, that's not so with the fans, a factor yeah. which could help Cesaro if he chooses to continue wrestling. Instead, despite his inconsistent pushes, the fans' respect for Cesaro's abilities have repeatedly shown they will embrace him as a top-tier performer when given the chance, yeah. no matter how many times he's been jobbed out. Yep, and that's the one thing about Cesaro that uh, we, we as fans appreciated. His in-ring ability never wavered, no matter what position on the card he was in. You knew Cesaro was going to give 110% when he was out there. Why did Cesaro leave? There are currently no statements from Cesaro regarding his departure, so any reasons are speculation. Here are a few to consider. 1. 11 years is enough. Mm -hmm. An 11-year run in WWE is a long one, especially when you know where you stand. According to a report from the Wrestling Observer Figure 4 Online, there were reportedly no plans to push him in recent months unless he re-signed. And by now, Cesaro should know where he stands in WWE's yeah. booking hierarchy. As Wrestling News' Paul Davis pointed out in an article on Cesaro leaving the WWE, Cesaro also appeared to express unhappiness with his spot in the company when he liked some tweets from fans expressing disappointment that the company could not find something for him to do at this year's Royal Rumble show. Those social media tweets may explain everything about Cesaro's decision not to stay, but others are worth consideration. 2. A change of scenery Cesaro may just want a new place to wrestle in after 11 years working in WWE. Mm -hmm. AEW's status as a legitimate national promotion is just one of several new places Cesaro can work if he opts to continue performing. 3. New Competition A WWE exit also means Cesaro has a chance to work with new performers and or wrestlers he hasn't competed against in some time. Cesaro seems like a wrestler's wrestler, someone yeah. who enjoys the art of wrestling perhaps as much as he does a good payday. What's next for Cesaro? While Cesaro is 41, the big man has kept himself in shape and can work a style that keeps him from putting too much wear and tear on his body. Mm -hmm. Promotions such as AEW and New Japan, which pride themselves in signing technically proficient wrestlers, would be eager to sign him. Cesaro's size also makes him an asset as AEW still lacks many big men. Cesaro would also have no problem finding work on the independent circuit, which can command surprising salaries for established WWE superstars. Smaller promotions such as Impact and Ring of Honor, should it actually relaunch in April as promised, remain possibilities. Likewise, Braun Strowman and EC3's Control Your Narrative could provide Cesaro with a new home. Mm. It's unknown what Cesaro's financial status is, but he likely has options other than continuing to wrestle. Should Cesaro choose to retire, he could pursue a career as a trainer, including mm -hmm. a return to WWE where he could work backstage. Other promotions would benefit from him training their wrestlers and sharing his experience in the ring. Lastly, Cesaro could do as several retired or semi-retired wrestlers have done and open up his own wrestling school. While WWE he management may see Cesaro's exodus as his loss, it sounds like it has hurt the ever-shaky backstage morale in the locker room. In the big picture, though, it's difficult to imagine WWE seeing this as a loss, and they will continue to utilize wrestlers as they see fit. Yep. WrestleMania will continue following this story as it develops. Well, guys. Yeah, man. It, it, it just it sucks. It is it's quite disappointing, but like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not surprised that it happened. Cesaro wasn't really getting pushed. Him resigning, it would probably push him a little bit, but he wasn't going to get a significant push. Hell, he may not have even made WrestleMania. And last year, he had a fantastic match with Seth Rollins. So good. One of the best matches of WrestleMania last year. So, I don't know. I don't know where he goes. Uh, could I see him in AEW? Yeah. <laughs> it seems like people that, you know, leave WWE, a lot of them end up in AEW. So, I could see him in AEW. It's just one of those things where their roster is stacked. Their roster is super stacked. So it's just you don't want to get too many people over there and then people get lost in the shuffle. So I'm not sure. But uh, whatever he ends up going or whatever he ends up doing, he will be successful at because dude is he's phenomenal in the ring. You tell he has great work ethic. Still looks good to be out there at the age he's at putting on some pretty good matches um i don't know what to say other than hey cesaro bro us us hardcore wrestling fans we appreciate everything you did in wwe we wish you would have got that main event 
opportunity and and rub that you oh so deserve just know us real fans out here us hardcore wrestling fans we appreciate everything you've done in the ring and all the good matches and great matches you have given us over the years and thank you so much wherever you go man you will be successful man and we're looking forward to seeing what the future has for you bro so i want to say this to anyone out there always know your worth no matter what somebody trying to pay you no matter what somebody trying to tell you or no matter what somebody trying to sell you know your worth if you don't feel like your worth is being met do not settle for the money because you'll ultimately be unhappy at the end of it but comment down below let me know are you guys surprised about this this whole situation about cesaro leaving wwe where do you think he'll end up going do you want to see him in AEW, new japan impact or do you want to see him maybe do something like a a, a backstage role in training wrestlers where, where would you like to see cesaro, cesaro at and also comment down below your favorite cesaro match man what was your favorite cesaro match appreciate all the love and support Road to 70k. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.